What's up everybody? It is Bucket Mouth Bass back here again today. I'm sure you guys already see the title. Today I'm going to be going over the top three aluminum bass fishing boat brands on the market today that you guys can buy. Keep in mind all three of these picks here today are very very affordable that's why i wanted to make the video here today if you guys like today's video go below hit that subscribe button hit the bell and the like button so i know that you guys like the video and i will be coming out with a ton of boat videos coming here in the very near future so you guys do not want to miss those if you guys do not like the video go down in the comments and let me know what you did not like and what I can improve on. I love hearing y'all's feedback. If you guys are in the market for a boat here today, watch today's video until the absolute very end so you know all the specific things that you need to know before you dish out thousands and thousands of dollars for a particular boat. And links to all three brands will be left down below in the description in case you guys want to take a look at either of the brands that I talk about here today. Keep in mind, I am absolutely not sponsored by anybody. This is just my personal opinion and the brand that I would buy if I was in the market for a boat. Alright guys, now that we got the intro out of the way and you guys subscribed, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button here today. Starting with number 3, I have to go with Crestliner Aluminum Bass Fishing Boats. Right off the bat, any one of the boats that you decide to buy from Crestliner when it comes to their aluminum bass fishing boats, there's no wood in the build so you don't have to worry about wood rot in the future. And number two, you are getting a completely welded hole with absolutely no rivets. I have had a bad experience with rivets, I prefer welds. If you guys disagree, go down in the comments and let me know. Crestliner has boats from every price range you can think of, but today I really want to highlight their budget options, just a few of them. The first one is the 1700 Storm with a 20 horsepower motor, comes right in at $13,000. So that boat is a great buy considering that it comes with the trailer, comes with the fish finder, comes with the motor, comes with the trolley motor, comes with the live well. Everything that you guys need to immediately take it after you buy it brand new to the body of water of your choice is absolutely ready to go. It's rigged up. It's got everything that you need at that $13,000 price point. And keep in mind, you can get a bigger motor. You are not limited to that 20 horsepower power motor you can get up to a 50 horsepower motor the second one I really wanted to highlight is the 1700 Ridge with a 40 horsepower motor here today that boat comes in right at $16,000 so again this boat is a little bit bigger than the 1700 storm model and with this model it comes with the fish finder comes with the trolling motor it comes with the live well comes with the trailer it comes with everything that you guys need to start fishing in that base price and you can get up to a 60 horsepower motor on this particular model again there will be a link down below in case you guys want to go look at what Crestliner has to offer they have stuff even if you're looking to spend more money so don't only think that you can buy uh, cheap only cheap boats from Crestliner you can get more expensive boats as well but I really wanted to highlight those budget options and they have a few other budget options as well they have plenty of models to choose from if you guys go to their website now moving on to number two number two I have to go with a LumaCraft aluminum bass fishing boats when it comes to their bass fishing boats number one they're all welded no rivets number two you are getting a build with absolutely no wood on there those are two very nice features to have you don't have to worry about rivets giving out on you and you don't have to worry about wood rotting on you either so again i want to highlight a few of their more inexpensive bass fishing boats that they have to offer on their website first i want to start with the 175 prowler that model with a 40 horsepower comes in right at 15.8 thousand dollars so all in with that boat you're under sixteen thousand dollars and you're getting a full-sized 
nice bass fishing boat and some models some alumacraft models come with a trolling motor some come with a fish finder already and some you have to upgrade it just depends on the particular model that you're buying from alumacraft so make sure you keep an eye out on that if you're looking to buy an alumacraft model it will show you when you're building your actual boat whether it comes with the fish finder or trolling motor or not now moving on to the pro 175 with the 50 horsepower that model comes in right at 18 point five thousand dollars so for under twenty thousand dollars you're getting a very high quality boat and it's absolutely ready to go to the lake again some models and some alumacrafts don't come with the fish finder and a trolling motor that's the only downside of alumacraft you really have to keep your eye out on that but everything else that you're getting alumacrafts come packed with features and again no rivets and no wood and you're getting a high quality build from alumacraft all their boats come ready to fish other than the trolling motor and the fish finder on some models it comes with the trailer it comes with the motor it comes with the live well you're absolutely ready to go all you have to do is gas up your boat take it out to the lake when you pick it up brand new now moving on to number one if you guys disagree with my number one pick here today let me know down below but i could not pass up on low aluminum bass fishing boats and i'm gonna get into why they made number one here today number one no wood you don't have to worry about wood rot number two completely welded aluminum hole you don't have to worry about rivets giving out on you now i want to start off with a few of their more inexpensive models again they offer more expensive models but i really want to highlight the cheaper more entry level models here today so starting off with the scorpion 16 with a 40 horsepower guys that boat is only fourteen thousand dollars that boat comes completely ready to fish, comes with a trolling motor, comes with a fish finder, trailer, motor, live well, absolutely everything at $14,000 and with a good size motor, a 40 horsepower motor. Again, you can upgrade to a 50 horsepower, but right off the bat at $14,000, you're getting a 40 horsepower motor. That's a very good and inexpensive buy from Lowe. Now moving up to their Scorpion 17. That boat with a 25 horsepower motor is only $14,200 again you can get up to a 60 horsepower motor on this particular boat model but starting at only fourteen thousand two hundred dollars are you kidding me for a boat packed with as many features as the low aluminum boats come with that is a very very good price whether it's your first boat your third boat or even your tenth boat that is a very very inexpensive and affordable price considering everything that you're getting in a low boat now just talking about a low aluminum bass fishing boats as a whole as a whole they all come with a trolling motor and a fish finder right off the bat and all of them are ready to take to your body of water of choice all you got to do is buy it put some gas in it and it is ready to go so that is why low had to make number one here today now for my final thoughts and opinions all three of these brands are great brands i would not recommend anything to you guys that i did not believe was a very good buy go down in the comments and let me know if you disagree or if you agree with me i love hearing y'all's feedback and opinion here today again links to all three brands will be left down below in the description if you guys want to take a look and i am not sponsored thank you guys so much for watching here today